Taken by Athletic Club up to Yuri. Called the best, slides it through for Yuri. He's got space in front of him here. Yuri goes for goal, and it's an absolute belter. And he hammers it home. It's a wonderful strike. If anyone's culpable, it's Jason who doesn't, he's unable to, to follow the runner. Instead of Bardi, it's Jason. He strikes it well enough, and it's an excellent save. Edelin just tipping it over the bar. It means that Athletic Club can mount an attack here. Here's Cordoba. Puts his cross into the box. There's no one there. Well, there is Inyaki Williams. Oh, it's in. Goalkeeper will be disappointed, though, Pete, won't he? Well, he's not helped maybe by the three defenders in front of him. Not too much in there, I don't think. Corner kick delivered towards the back post. Well, it's in, but it's a foul on the goalkeeper. Or is it? Well, here it is. It was a really good corner. And in fact, it seems he pushes it in him, him, himself. Now, is that because he... The question mark is over whether the goalkeeper has full control of the ball in those two hands. He does have the ball between his hands, and that's exactly what the VAR team have decided. The goal has been chalked off. Picked up by Koke. Now it's Campagna. Turns back onto his right foot. The Athletic Club defends too quick for him, and the referee's pointed to the spot. It's a penalty for Levante. Nuera Montero. As you can just see, the ball isn't cleared properly. Rouget gets a leg through, makes contact with the ball. And I think it's quite a clear foul on him. It's Inigo Martinez. He scored 10 so far in La Liga. Can he make it 11? Can he make it 2-1? Yes, he can. Rouget finds the bottom corner and silences Sam Ames. Then, yeah, immediately telling the referee, go to VAR, go to VAR. But in the end, the VAR didn't help him. Williams underneath this one does well to bring the ball under control. That's a magnificent first touch as well by Anyaki Williams. He's got Ika Munyain in support, finds the Athletic Club substitute off the post. After coming on just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, it's probably his first meaningful touch. Um, and it almost ends in a goal. And immediately the link play between Williams and Munyain is so good. That excellent relationship and understanding that they have. So it's Campania again. A better corner this time, and it's in the back of the net. And Levante have got back into this game. And you don't expect them, and Gary Tunnel will be furious, you don't expect them to concede like that from a set-piece line decision. I still think probably the right one, but um, taking that into consideration as well. Well, there's still a chance for Athletic, and it's so nearly fell for in Idiaki Williams. Still not away, two players down, and the referee pointed to the spot, has he? This controversy when that Levante goal went in, you saw what it meant to them. Now, Ika Munyai has a chance to make it 3-2, and that's exactly what he does. It's Moses Simon with a challenge. It was Ika Munyai who went down and then stood up. Just at the right moment. Well, it's a yellow card for Kabako. He, of course, is the man who thought he'd got his side back into the game with that header, and it's... A second yellow, which means a red for the Levante centre-back. We were talking about what a massive goal and what a potential, potentially huge point that was for Levante. And literally seconds later, the penalty was awarded.